guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my hits and misses for the month of September. And I have some hits, but oh my gosh. We've got so many misses. I even asked you guys on my, what I, was, it was Twitter. I asked you guys on Twitter, I even did a poll. Did you guys want me to do like a full video of the misses since there were so many? Or just include them and make this a super long video and a lot of you voted to make this a super long video. So I'm glad you guys love long videos like I do. If you're wondering about this makeup look, I did just film this. It is my bridal trial makeup look, my second one. So I will leave it down below in a little annotation up here. Um, because it is up before this video and I love the way that it turned out. So if you want to see what products I use, you can head on over there and I show you step by step. If you want to see some of my hits and all my dang misses, then let's just go ahead and get started. So the first hit of the month has to be these green nails. Now I told you guys, I don't know the exact name, but like olive green nail polish is just calling to me. I even want to do like gold flakes on a ring finger one day or something. I'm just really feeling fall nails. Nails. I just I love fall first off. I don't really love the shape I'm more of a coffin type of girl, but I love this color and I definitely think I'll be doing like a burgundy and all of that kind of stuff all of nails are a must-have and also since I don't know the name of this I do know that Kathleen is coming out with an olive green polish it should be out now and it's pretty much identical to this so I will leave a link for that down below so I've been using a different shampoo and a different conditioner this month and I have been really enjoying them so the shampoo I've been using is this verb shampoo and basically it says verb sea shampoo gently cleanses hair adds body and enhances waves for a natural tousled look leaves hair voluminous and with touchable texture uh, I don't really notice a lot of texture, but I don't leave my hair, like, I don't let my hair air dry ever, because if I did, my roots get so freaking oily, it's awful. I'm sure this gives you a lot of texture. For me, it just really cleans my hair, makes my hair feel super soft, super smooth. Another thing to also add on to that to help keep it nice and smooth and look really pretty is definitely this IGK Expensive Amla Oil High Shine Top Coat. I think that's how you say it. I could be wrong. I was super nervous about this. I didn't know if it was going to work or not. This is kind of a small bottle. It's 4.2 fluid ounces. I feel like I've used quite a bit of it, but then again, I still have like this much left and I've used a lot of it for the past month. So, I mean, it's probably not that bad, but it says like a top coat for nails is UV protectant glaze instantly forms to hair, creating a transparent weightless shield that adds intense color depth and dimension. I love this product because again, I feel like this really makes my hair super smooth. I think these two together are just key. This really cleans the hair, doesn't weigh it down. This adds a lot of shine, adds a lot of moisture. This really helps keep it healthy and shiny, and I like it a lot. I will say, if you do not rinse all of this out, it is so heavy, and it will make your hair look kind of oily, which any conditioner will do that. But really make sure that you rinse this out, or else it's not gonna dry, and it just looks really gross, and you have to wash your hair again. But I like to apply it from like the top of my ears down and I'm good to go. And yeah, so this is another favorite of the month. I've been really enjoying it. Got it in PR and I think it's great. So my favorite scent of the month has been this one by Givenchy. It's Dahlia Divine. Where did I get this at? I got this at the um, duty free section when I was in Fiji at the airport. Oh my gosh. I didn't know this was new, but it's new. You guys. This smells so good. This is like my perfect floral scent. It's not like mature smelling. It's not super young. It's just that perfect scent. I highly recommend. Oh god. <laughs> highly recommend checking this out because this is by far my favorite scent I have tried yet. Let's move on to makeup. So first thing I want to shout out is the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Palette. I had been using this so much since I did my review on the full collection, which I will have linked down below, but I really love this palette. First off, I love matte shadows, and I think this is just a really great staple palette to have. If you love these tones, and if you love matte shadows, this is the palette for you. I think the packaging is really nice. I will say I find that before this palette, Too Faced was putting out like very subpar eyeshadows that just weren't fun to play with or fun to even look at. Like the palettes were just not inspiring at all. But I really love this one. I do a lot of different looks with it. I love an all matte look. You could do something day to day. You could also do a really smoky look for nighttime. Um, but this one and the Candy Johnson one, I actually just tried the Candy Johnson one out yesterday. So I'm not including it in this one because I haven't used it all month. But oh my gosh, the Candy Johnson one is so freaking good. Next up, I want to shout out this one palette from the drugstore. 
This is the Melissa Michelle Ulta Palette. This is so good, you guys. If you just want like a fall palette that's affordable, this is the way to go. I did do a full video using this. I did a full like fall makeup look um, not too long ago. Anyway, so these are so pretty. It's perfect for fall. You have a highlighter, you have a blush, and it does come with a lippy that I've already lost, but it comes with that as well. And it's just a really great product to get at the drugstore. The shadows are really nice. The gold one's a little chunky, but on the eye, it is so stinking pretty. Bing Bing, another one of my favorites that is super pigmented. I mean the mattes in here are great. Lola is really great as well, the little shimmery shade. So I highly recommend checking this out. Again, congrats to Melissa on this palette. It is beautiful and I think it's really cool that she collabed with Ulta to make it. Moving on to a face powder. So I have a few things from that two feet, two feet. So I have a few things from that Too Faced Peach collection um, that I really love and I also have some in my misses for the month. But this is the Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. I love this powder so much. I think it gives you a nice smooth finish. Smells really good, tastes good. I mean, I don't recommend going like this, but it does taste really good if you get it in your mouth. And I just find that it lasts so long on my skin, and it also goes really well with the foundation. Foundation has also been one of my favorites, too. Just combining them together gives a nice, smooth finish to the skin, and I've been really enjoying it. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort, Comfort Matte Foundation infused with peach and sweet fig cream. Oil-free, 14-hour wear, oil controlling, and photo ready. This looks so good in photos um, and video as well. I actually wore this during Fashion Week when I went a few weekends ago, and it looked so good, and it lasted for such a long time as well. Does it say? Yeah, 14-hour wear. I agree with that. This lasted all day for me. I would get up in the morning, do my makeup for work, wear it all day into the night, and it still looked amazing. So... Really love this product. I think it's great. I think the packaging is really cute. You do get a pump with it as well. And it's really easy to travel with. The color sand is the perfect shade for me when I'm nice and freshly self-tanned. I use Loving Tan Self Tanner in the shade Ultra Dark. That shade matches absolutely perfectly. Okay, and then the last thing I want to shout out is this Flower Beauty Highlight Palette. I have been using this so stinking much. This is just the best drugstore highlight palette Ever. I mean, the formula is amazing. They are super reflective. Look at that. There's nothing like this in the drugstore. Wet n Wild does have great highlighters, but they're not like this. This is like super intense in your face. I actually have this on my chest right now. Let me just look at that. Do you? There's nothing like this in the drugstore. Flower Beauty is one of my absolute favorite brand in the drugstore because a lot of their stuff is really great quality. Last thing I want to mention is this highlighter brush from Smashbox. This is a precise highlighting brush and I love this because it is the perfect size and it's like a duo fiber brush here at the top. I love this brush. It just sits right there on the top of the cheekbone where you want to put it and blends everything out beautifully. This has been my go-to over my Anastasia one. Over any other highlighting brush, this has been my must-have. So now we are moving on to our misses. There's so much stuff in here, it's not even funny. First thing I want to talk about, I love this brand for skincare. I've used their um, cleanser, I use their moisturizer right now, and I just think they're a great brand, but this was a complete miss for me. This is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse Balm. I ran out of my Clinique Take Off the Day Cleansing Balm, which I have to go get another one because I'm going crazy without it. This did not do anything for me. It says it melts away impurities and makeup from skin. I had so much makeup left over on my skin after this. At first I thought it was a cool concept because it's kind of like the Clinique Take Off the Day Balm. You see how it's thick right there? But it's in a bottle form and it melts down to like an oil consistency, but it doesn't take off like my mascara that's not even waterproof. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I got this in PR, it was just sitting in my drawer waiting for me to use. I used it, did not like it at all. I'm gonna mention the most controversial line ever. Not controversial as in people are always talking bad about it, but what I mean by it is if you talk bad about it, people come for you, come for you. you gotta keep it real, it's just how it is. So I do have all my Fenty Beauty products in here that I don't like. So the foundation was a miss for me. If you want to know full details and see my skin, I will link that video down below so you can check it out. I love the packaging of these. Uh, I can't wait to see her eyeshadow palettes because I saw she was coming out with more things October 13th. Very excited to pick those up. Yeah, these were a miss for me. They were too drying. They accentuated my texture really, really bad. And some people came for me. There was one person who was like, wow, if that makes your skin look bad, you must have horrible skin. And I'm just like, 
Mama didn't teach you any manners, did she now, girl? Moving on, the primer. Again, this just really didn't do anything for me. I mean, it feels nice, but it doesn't like fill in my pores or make my skin look a little bit smoother. It doesn't really help with the longevity of foundation either. So this was a miss for me as well as this matchstick. I think this was the thing that I disliked the most because it really makes your under eyes look so cakey and dry. It's just not pretty on the skin. So that was another miss for me. So next up, I have this Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, Primer and Moisturizer in one has hyaluronic acid in it which is great adds a lot of moisture to the skin I just I felt this made me so greasy oh it made me so greasy I could not use this as a moisturizer or a primer it was just too much for my skin and when my oils started coming through it was just like a sliding mess it just did not work if you have more combo dry skin you might really like this because it's a lot of moisture but for me it just didn't work I mean I always apply moisturizer anyways I even tried this as a moisturizer and it just it just didn't work it's just a little too much for my skin so I'm gonna have to pass on this um, but I know a lot of people love it I was really excited to try it out because I love the primer water I would check this out if you have really dehydrated skin but for me it was just it's just a pass. Another thing that makes me look like an oil slick is this Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. This coconut line was a, uh, I believe, limited edition thing. I love the bronzer from the collection, but this primer makes me so greasy. Oh, so greasy. It doesn't even take long at all. I would say maybe one and a half to two to look like a complete disco ball. I definitely think this is targeted more towards dry skin. So if you have dry skin, I think you would like this. But my oily girls out there, girl, don't even try it. Moving back to the Too Faced collection, the peach one. We have the peach blur here. I did not like this. Um, I felt like it did nothing for my skin. I don't even understand why this was in the collection. That sounds a little harsh. It didn't blur out any of my pores. It didn't make my skin look smoother. And to be honest, it didn't even look like I had powder. It just looks like a peach tint. That's re It's really weird. It just didn't work. But instead of making me look super smooth, I feel like it brought out more texture. So it just... I feel like there's some shimmeriness in there. I mean, even when you look at it, it has a glow to it. And then the other thing is the Sweetie Pie Radiant Matte Bronzer. I didn't like this for a bronzer. If you like more of a bronzy peach blush, you might like this. There is quite a bit of shimmer in here. Um, but I use this as a bronzer because that's what it says. But I just didn't enjoy this, especially as a bronzer, because it really looks like a peachy bronze color all over your face, and it just doesn't look right. So, like I said, if you like these kinds of colors for blush, you might really enjoy it. But I think if they took out this peachy shade, I would have really liked it. Uh, even though it is more of a radiant bronzer, it's not like chunky glitter. There's just too much peach in it for me. So the next product that was a miss is this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. This burned the shit out of my eyes. I mean, my skin was burning, my eyes were watering. I did a full video and you guys got to see like firsthand it completely making my eyes water instantly. And it was crazy. So that's why I'm going to have to pass on this. I don't even know really how the wear is or anything because of how bad it burned my eyes. So I would just be warned, this burns the shit out of your eyes. Another product in my misses, again from Smashbox. I love the contour side of these to cream contour, but I do not like the foundation. So that's that's why these are in here because I'm just not a fan. I find, oh by the way, these are these Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundations. Again, I think if you have dry skin you might like this more. Um, for me, it just really made me super oily. It didn't want to stay in place. And personally, if I'm going to use a stick foundation, there has been nothing that can beat my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. Even the Hourglass one makes me a little bit oily throughout the day. But it still looks so much better. <laughs> than this one. I'm so sorry, Smashbox. I love you guys. This was just a miss for me, um, but the contour side is really nice. So maybe if you have dry skin, you would really like this because I think my oils and this foundation just did not work together. That's how I feel about those. Next up is the Milani Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. This just accentuated texture and it had more of a medium coverage, which I didn't like. It just wasn't a favorite of mine. It just looked very cakey and not pretty whatsoever. If you're going to do a drugstore concealer, I'd recommend trying a Maybelline one, like the Maybelline Better Skin, Maybelline Fit Me. I think this is just too much. It's just too much, you know? Okay, guys, so that is it for my misses. Holy crap. That was a lot, y'all. That was a lot. Now i got to figure out how to return half this stuff. I am going to share with you guys my music favorites. This is the best part. This is the part that you guys love. And if you are here to the end, let me know in the comments. Say, I stay till the end because, because, I don't know. Okay, Pie by Future, so freaking good. Okay, 
Okay, this one is called Live Up To My Name by Baka Not Nice. I don't know. Also, Met Gala from Gucci Mane. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there's a little Dalmatian on here. It's Rose. It's Rose. Okay, what else can I shout out to you guys? Oh, I'll name the dogs by Blake Shelton. That's like the newest one that I have. I really like this one, obviously, because it's I'll name the dogs. I will also say, I haven't really been a big Blake Shelton fan. I don't know why. Like, his few, past few songs just haven't really made it to my heart, but this one's really good. Ready? Ready? Actually, all of the song favorites that I have. I'm sorry, I don't have a lot this month. I feel like not a lot of stuff has come out, but I really hope you guys enjoy this hits and misses. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Wish that I could stay. Wish for this moment to never.